Hi everyone and welcome to this pair repair. If you've cleaned the throttle body or perhaps completely replaced it, you may have to do a reset also known as a relearning procedure. This video will show you four ways you can do it. We'll start from the easiest way where you don't need almost any tools and finish with the most effective method. So stay tuned. Despair repair. Dot com. Be sure to visit us at our website despairrepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Before we start we would just like to mention a few signs that you should in fact do a relearning procedure. For instance the car has a rough idle, the car has a jerky response when accelerating, there is lowered engine performance, a somewhat higher fuel consumption and else. Drive the car or let the engine run. The first and easiest way to do a throttle body relearning procedure on some cars is to simply drive the car or just let the engine run for a longer period of time. On some cars, the ECU, which is the car's computer, automatically detects new changes in the throttle body parameters after it's been reconnected, like after a cleaning for instance, and through driving makes adjustments to them. Our recommendation would be a driving instead of a standstill since the conditions are more different when driving and the ECU can get more parameters to make a better and quicker reeler. After the longer ride, for let's say about 15 to 20 miles, you may notice that the engine again runs as usual. Disconnect the battery. Next thing you can try is to disconnect the battery. Take off the minus clamp and leave it like that for about half an hour. This will make a reset on the car's ECU and when you start the engine again it will read the new parameters of the throttle body and should make the new adjustments. Manual procedures. Know that lots of cars have a set of manual procedures for a throttle body relearn. You have a set of simple operations that should help in relearning. On most cars it goes something like this. You turn on the ignition but do not touch the gas pedal. You leave the ignition on for about a minute. After that, press the gas pedal slowly to the end, to the floor, and then let the pedal go. You turn off the ignition and then start the engine. Know that this procedure varies from one car to another. For instance, you may have to press the pedal several times instead of once. The ignition has to be turned on multiple times and so on. But the basics of the whole procedure is the same. The whole point of it is to send the whole range of signals from the gas pedal sensor to the car's computer and then to the throttle body and recalibrate the whole system this way. Use an OBD tool or a specific program. The last and most effective way to do a throttle body relearn is to use either an OBD tool or a specific computer program for your car. In our case, we have a good OBD tool which has the throttle body relearning option. It is very simple to do. In short, you just connect the OBD tool, choose the procedure within the menu and let the tool do the rest. With the computer program, it's very similar. Connect it, choose the option you need and it's all done. Just make sure that the program is compatible to your car. In both cases, the whole procedure is very easy, straightforward and gives very good results. For the end, know that on most cars simply reinstalling and reconnecting the throttle body, starting the engine and letting it run for some time or driving the car for some time will solve the problem. If it doesn't, you can try with disconnecting the battery. The manual procedures we've mentioned have a partial effect and oftentimes have no effect at all, to be honest. But if the problems continue, even after you've tried all this, you'll have to use an OBD tool or a computer program. If you don't have one, you'll have to visit a mechanic that does do this. Our recommendation is that even if everything is okay and you have an OBD tool or a computer program at hand, connect it and do a relearning procedure with it. It can't hurt and you'll be certain that everything is okay at the same time. So that's it for this time. We hope the video helps. Please like and subscribe. It's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.